Hey everyone, what's up? This is Lindsay with First Line Equipment and today we are going to be back flushing our espresso machine in here and we figured that we would share this process with you for those of you who are curious about your basic maintenance when it comes to keeping your espresso machine nice and clean and uh, less prone to having to replace things which is very very essential. A lot of the times we have customers who call in expressing how either the flavor of their coffee is no longer the same, it doesn't taste as fresh or you know they're having you know some leakage within their group heads and a lot of this can be avoided and replacements can be avoided or prevented uh, if basic maintenance is kept on one's espresso machine and back flushing is the mainstay of just cleanliness when it comes to your espresso machine so it is that time for us to back flush our beautiful Barlume Electra machine here and I figured that we'd bring you along in the process. So back flushing is only capable on machines that have three-way solenoid valves. So if your espresso machine does not have one, then this will not apply to you. Um, but if you are looking for espresso machines, I personally find that having a three-way solenoid valve really helps um, for many different reasons and is really beneficial. But this is the main reason why. A lot of people ask, how often should I be back flushing? You know, this and that. and as a general rule, we usually say around 50 shots after every 50 shots or so, then you know you should probably maybe back flush the machine. But honestly, it really depends on one, the bag of beans that you're using. Some beans are oilier than others and also depends on frequently. If you're having a huge party and you're making lots and lots of drinks, you know, it's going to change here and there. So use your best judgment, but 50 shots or so is usually the good guesstimate that we like to suggest for our customers. Step number one. <laughs> All right, so uh, to back flush the machine, you're going to need one of these uh, blind flushes. So this is a insert that you can put into your portafilter. As you can see, it has no holes. You want to make sure you find one that fits your portafilter size. We have um, these on our website. And you actually can just use the blip of this blind flush to remove the portafilter basket that you have in your machine. You're just going to flip it upside down, kind of hook it underneath the bottom of your portafilter basket, and you're just going to pry it up every so. And you're going to insert this in here, pop it right in so it just fits nice and tightly in there. And you're going to need a back flushing solution to put into the machine. We carry a bunch of different back flushing solutions on our website. Um, so you can get them in tablet forms if you like something that's a little, you don't have to guess about anything, or you can get big uh, tubs of it where it's loose, like this one, this is Joe Glow. Um, and you're gonna put either one tab or about a third of a teaspoon of your cleaning solution into your bla uh, the blind flush in the portafilter. And you're going to just Lock that into place as you would normally do if you're gonna pull a shot. And we're going to let the, um, let the group head run water through it. And we're gonna do this in increments of 10 seconds and do it three times so that the pressure doesn't build up too much within the machine, okay? So you're gonna click on manual brewing, count out to 10 seconds roughly. Eight, nine, 10. Stop it once, let it breathe for a second. Go into it. One, two, and for the last time, one, two, awesome. And then um, once you do that, you're going to, now this part you just want to um, be careful with if you want to use a cloth so that it kind of protects your hands a little bit, um, but you're going to loosen the portafilter just slightly and engage the water and just wiggle it so it kind of allows that water to just kind of um, move within the group head and you're gonna see that some of that icky water is just gonna come out. So you're gonna unlock it slightly, engage your brewing and just let it wiggle just a little bit. Like I said, taking care not to burn yourself or harm yourself and all the icky water, you're going to let that out. And once you're done with that, you're going to take a little handy dandy brush, which we carry. Um, these sometimes come with the machines. If they don't, we have plenty of these available on our website that you can use. You're just going to brush around the group head in there, trying to scrub in, maybe get a little bit on the dispersion screen. And yeah, 
So you squeeze in that and then engage your manual brewing one more time just to let that water kind of run through the dispersion screen and loosen up until you kind of see it run a little bit clearer. So once you're done with that process, you're going to remove your blind flush, replace the filter basket back in the portafilter, and we suggest running another um, shot of espresso through the machine just to re-season the, you know, the machine and to assure that any residual solution runs through that shot and not through the one that you actually want to enjoy. And there we go. We are back flushed and ready to have some more espresso, which is very important. <laughs> if this walkthrough was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stay in tune for more maintenance videos like this, subscribe. We'll be having more coming out to you. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. We hope this video is helpful. I'm Lindsay. Thanks for watching.